Yeah, I'm with the City of Riverside Park and Rec and Community Service Department. Uh, we've been longtime partners with Operation New Hope. We definitely want to congratulate you on the reopening. Um, great things happening here. We partner with Operation New Hope and they provide our life skills services for uh, students. It's been a long time relationship uh, through Russ and his father. Most recently we have Ryan who teams up with me and we have a, a grant funded program called GRACE which stands for Gay Reduction and Community Engagement where we have a six month program with a group of teens, uh, young adults from the ages of 15 to 23 where we provide job development. That's what I do. I'm a job developer slash lead outreach worker for the city of Riverside. And we basically provide them with the skills to help them redefine themselves, put them in the right direction, give them valuable training skills to enter the job market, as well as just uh, create uh, healthy peer-to-peer -peer relationships and positive role models so that we can encourage them to continue uh, down the path towards success. We also um, get a chance to have a, a wonderful John Muir site with the city of Riverside. We're one of the client agencies for uh, John Muir a Charter School. We have our Riverside Heritage site at two campuses there in the Riverside area serving the east side as well as our Lanza area. And there's only been great things happening there. We've been able to grow within the last two and a half years. We have about 103 students that we serve there through our partnership. Uh, I provide the vocational internship program there, so I meet with the kids, case manage, case manage them, set them in ideal internships throughout the cities and local businesses to help them develop the skills. We've recently implemented uh, workshops that help them get certifications to help increase their value as entry-level employees, so we're providing uh, CPR first aid services as well as uh, we're uh, talking to Marty a little bit about uh, what they're doing with the food handler's license just to kind of implement some more opportunities and give some growth for our students. Um, really, uh, I just come here to kind of get a little wisdom from Operation New Hope. We iron sharpens, sharpens iron, so we're working together to see how we can work uh, smarter and not harder, um, implementing some, some of each other's practices to serve our youth in, in, the, in the empire to the best of our ability. So I just wanted to congratulate you guys again on the great work that you're doing. Thank you for allowing me to uh, be a part of this, uh, this panel and just to be here at this event. City of Riverside supports you in everything that you do and all your future endeavors. Thank you so much. They do the hard work too because they go into the homes if need be. And that's where real, uh, I was going to say real ministry, <laughs> and real, <laughs> real work happens when you get to go up. Because we realize it's not just about the kids, it's about the whole family. It's about wrapping it and, and caring for the whole family. And this program is a wonderful example of that as well. So again, thank you, Terrence. We have a wonderful Mr. Ditchfield from the Department of Rehabilitation. He is somebody to know. Uh, yeah, from the Department of Rehabilitation. Listening to people getting graduated, I remember when I graduated from high school, I got up the next morning, I felt all good, you know, and I sat down with my father to have a cup of coffee, and he says, well, what are you going to do? And I said, oh, I thought I'd go to the beach. <laughs> he said, uh-uh, you've got three choices. You can join the military and probably end up in Vietnam. You can go to college, or you can get a job, but you know what? We finished with you here. You've got to move on. I didn't know <laughs> So, I wish I had known. Of course, I might not have qualified, but there's help for people because it does all this education is great, but if you don't have a job, it's not going to do you a lot of good. Right. Yeah. We're able to do a lot to help people who have a disability that gets in the way of their getting a job. And that can be, we're a free service from the state and the federal government, and we're betting on people that if we give someone help, they're going to become an active, productive member of the community. And the nice thing is we can do just about whatever needs to be done to get a person to whatever vocation they choose to have. So because, you know, I always go around, I give this orientation, I go, I could go around the room and say, you're a doctor, you're a lawyer, you're a nuclear physicist. I don't know. I could be wrong every time. And the neat thing is that we are able to partner with you guys and work with a lot of the students who have had some kind of an issue. That could be a physical problem a psychological problem, a learning disability, some kind of systemic illness, birth problems, anything like that, we can help with. As long as a person has a disability, it's an absolutely free service, it costs nothing. You know, we're probably the smallest department in the state, but we think we're probably the best. 
and uh, we're not very well known. I've, I've had senators go, what are you guys doing? Well, uh, but basically, we're, we have these guys over in our building every week because they're, you know, they're, doing, they're doing a great job. You know, thank you, getting these people there and getting, yeah. Anyway, we have offices all over the state of California. And uh, again, all a person has to do is be able to and be willing to work. And it's like having a rich uncle. <laughs> and we're happy to be that. So, awesome. Can you explain about some of the specific services and where your offices are located at? Well, in this area, we have an office right down the street in Ontario, right fairly close to the... Um, uh, the uh, 10, freeway, 10, freeway, 10, 10 freeway and just just real near that uh, Citizens Bank Arena. Mm -hmm. It's on Carnegie, I think. Mm -hmm. Carnegie or Mercedes, right. some rich name. Anyway, <laughs> and then we also have an office in Victorville. I just told somebody about that. We have our office, which is downtown San Bernardino, corner of 4th and E, which is right near that new theater that's there that nobody goes to. And <laughs> we have an office in uh, Palm Desert. We have offices in Riverside. Um, where? Temecula. I heard of Temecula, yeah. Uh, Temecula. <laughs> but then that's this, this district, you know, and then we have El Centro is ours too. But then we have, it goes all over the place. In fact, I always tell the story about the fellow that showed up for my orientation that I do every Monday. And he came from Los Angeles, got up at 4.30 in the morning to get on the bus to get to our place. We checked it out and we had an office two blocks from his house. <laughs> He, he was, I was horrified. He was laughing his head off. <laughs> Good sense of humor, I suppose. But anyway, we specifically can do, like, I have one person that's studying to finish off being a doctor. She's going to be an intern in just a little bit. I have other people that will need to get a job in a warehouse. Just want to go to work. Uh, you know, could be construction, you know. And I love it. I'll tell you two stories. I had this one guy, you know, everybody has stereotypes, right? This guy came into my office, and he was the biggest, scariest, most horrible-looking person. I mean, he was scary. I mean, you know, you're going down the street, and you see somebody coming the other way, and you say, I think I'm going to cross over. You go two blocks with this guy. He'd be real. Anyway, he looked so, he looked like he ate babies for breakfast. I said, well, what is it you have always wanted to do? He looks at me and says, well... I've always wanted to work with flowers. <laughs> Got him a job as a florist, did a good job with it. I don't know how long you want me to talk, because I can, you know, I can talk. <laughs> but I, I always thought of Little Muffy and Jimmy coming in for their flowers, and he comes in and goes, I'm your florist. And go, <laughs> oh, yeah, some baby's bread and posies, look you. One more. The same, the same. <laughs> The same month, I had a young lady come in, and she was the most beautiful woman I have ever. Uh, she was just so gorgeous, hair, nails, the whole thing, little, but she was just beautiful. She wanted to drive a semi truck, yeah. and we were worried whether her legs would be long enough to the pedal. But, you know, just, I think she still drives. I'll talk forever if you let me. Talk. Yeah. Oh, wonderful! You see why I don't visit the desk when I can't get out of those offices. I love it. He makes my day. Wonderful service, that, and I agree. There, uh, Department of Rehab is definitely one of those services that's not not utilized enough, and they give you whatever you need to uh, make sure that you're successful. They have one for one of my clients. He needed um, about five thousand about five thousand dollars worth of tools because he was going to be an electrician. Mm -hmm. Dor, they paid for that. So they make sure they do whatever is necessary to make sure that you're in the vocational training that you do. So if you know anyone, or it could be you yourself, look them up. If you're co uh, confused about it, call us. We'll help redirect you. Okay? D-O-R. Don't forget them. Excellent. Thank you again. And we have Mr. Ryan here with Walden Family, uh, Family Services, who has partnered with us with the Nurturing Parenting Grant. Thank you very much for having us out here. Um, we're with Walton Family Services and we provide a free parenting class to any parents that have a child under the age of five that are under the age of 24. Um, we really focused on making parents' lives easier and it's a completely free, uh, funded by First Five program all over the county. So wherever you are, uh, we'll find a way to get to you if you need this service and if you need the help. Um, working with Operation New Hope has been great. Um, I, 
think everybody really enjoyed it. We've seen some great outcomes of young parents, and uh, we want to offer that to everybody who wants it. Excellent, excellent. They're a wonderful service, so you can see them. They're, they're actually hosting some classes with the Tay, um, right down the street in Rancho. Um, and they give amazing prizes. Like, you walk out, they give, like, car seats, those Cadillac strollers and all that. Yes. I'm like, uh, I'm way out the baby stage, but, uh... <laughs> But anyway, thank you, Ryan. So we have Miss Asia here from John Muir Charter Schools. Yay! She's the reason why we can give out these high school diplomas. We like her. Hi, my name is Asia. Like he said, I'm deputy director of Workforce Partnerships, which we changed it to that name because it was we are uh, then we owe. Uh, so know what it is. we thought it would uh, fit a little bit better as Workforce Partnerships um, for John Muir Charter School. We have about 55 sites all throughout California, ranging from here to north of Sacramento. So we travel all throughout the sites. And um, like you said, we provide the high school diploma program, okay, so from 16 to 25 year olds. And we partner with agencies such as Operation New Hope. Um, I wanted to point out that Russ, earlier when he was doing the ribbon cutting, said that um, Operation New Hope is like a hidden secret here in the community. It is. It's not in the John Burr Charter School world because constantly we are referring to Operation New Hope as a model program to the rest of our sites. Um, the team he has here, the whole Operation New Hope team is amazing. When I walked into this building, those of you that have been here before the remodel, I walked into the building and I, I said, are you sure in the right place? <laughs> this is amazing. The progress that Operation New Hope has made over the past few years has been just unbelievable and I'm, I am so proud to have them as a John Burr Charter School site. Um, and the work that um, we do day in and day out um, for our students. Um, like I said, we refer to Operation New Hope a lot um, with our other programs to show what can be done when you have a good partnership. Um, and you have so many members of the community that give uh, towards helping our students create a better future for themselves. Um, so I'm the academic component of it. Um, like I said, we partner with a whole bunch of different agencies, um, LEA sites, youth build sites, conservation corps, that whole type of thing. Um, we are, our workforce partnerships are my favorite, not only because I'm assigned to them, but I really do believe in what we stand for and what we provide to our students. Um, so, if you have any questions about the school aspect of it, um, I'm around. Um, I can also give you my contact info Definitely. if you wanted it, but um, yeah, I'm proud to have um, our school name on the diplomas that our students get. Um, and I'm looking forward to this graduation ceremony coming up because I know it's, it's going to be good with a lot of good graduates in there. And um, congratulations to our most recent graduate. Mr. Jonathan. Jonathan. Yeah. 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 I uh, wish the rest of the ones who are ready to push, uh, keep pushing, keep going. Um, I know I have another one back there. It's going to be coming up soon, too. Um, so again, uh, super proud of Operation Hope Russ. He's done an amazing job. Can you speak to also who qualifies or what kind of students do does John Muir look okay. for? Um, we are 16 to 25 year olds, so it kind of depends on the agency and which um, ages they really want to focus on. Some say we're a second chance program, third, fourth, fifth chance. Um, it doesn't matter, okay? Um, if you are ready to come back to school and get your high school diploma, we're here for you. If you think I might be ready, we'll help you get ready. Okay, so we're students that, it's not a GED program, although we can help with GED. It's a high school diploma program, WASC accredited. The diploma that you get from John Murray Charter School is the same as, um, I don't know what's a little high school around here. Rancho. Rancho uh, High School, okay, same, same thing. It says John Murray Charter School on it. Um, you can take it with you when you go to college, okay? It's, it's just like a diploma from any other school. Sometimes uh, people say, oh, it's one of those uh, diploma programs where you pay. It's nothing like that. It's completely free um, for our students and for our client agencies. Uh, we, uh, one thing that we really, really focus on is that we're direct instruction. Um, Coach Lumba back there. Uh, Lumba, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, he is dynamic in the classroom, and that's something that we really take pride in as John Murray Charter School is, is finding awesome candidates like or uh, teachers like himself. Appreciate that plug. Uh, <laughs> stop, stop. Uh, but that's the difference. A lot of your, um, a lot of our students have gone to 
uh, continuation schools, and different independent study schools, things like that, and they don't work. Okay, it does for some students, but for the majority of students, it doesn't work. So one of our major selling points that we that we have is that we're a direct instruction. Um, in conjunction with credit recovery. We have to have a little bit of independent study component because each student needs something different, but um, the bulk of ours is, uh, is um, direct instruction. So they're in the classroom, um, and it's not just lecture. I don't know if you've seen any of the projects that the students do here. It's, it's pretty cool, I will say. Um, so if you have a chance to check out the classrooms, I'm sure some of the videos are showing those types of things, and I'm sure um, the teachers would be happy to um, tell you the types of things that, that go on in the classroom here, but. This is really a model study, and we're really proud of what goes on here. So I don't know if that answered your yes. question. Thank you, Asia. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Not only do we do direct instruction here, but we also have student groups because we want to make this feel like a, as best as possible. We don't like to say we're a high school. We like to say that we're a middle college, that we're the stepping stone in between high school and in between college to get you prepared. So we have some student-run organizations, and we have partnered up with uh, this wonderful young man named Francis from Friday Night Live who comes in and helps develop our student leadership team. Mr. Francis. Hi, everybody. I am with the San Marino County Department of Public Health with the Friday Night Live program. It's not SNL, it's not Friday Night Live, it's a great movie though, so we get confused quite often, but it's Friday Night Live. And basically we're a statewide program that works with youth all across middle school, high school, wherever they're at, to really help develop their skills and really make a change for themselves, for the community, and wherever they're at. It's youth-led, youth-driven, and the way we run things is, is, is simply that. The youth really are the, the voice and the future, and what I've noticed here, as well as other places I've worked with, young people have a voice, mm -hmm. but only if we listen. And I, I hate to blow up uh, Coach Lumba again, and the rest of the staff, really. Is, the staff here is just amazing. They simply have the passion, the heart, and they listen. And when they listen, students speak. Time and time again, the, the groups I work with here, as well as other places, they have plain to say. When we let them run with it, they run far. And the students here I'm working with, the leadership team, who are a fantastic group, um, best among the best in this, in this, in this, in this room. Uh, they're working at, at the moment their Safe and Sober Prom campaign. It's something that they plan from scratch from the beginning, with you know, as little, little interference from us adults as possible, but they've got imagination, heart, and the skill set to really plan and organize these events. And our goal is to plan other things throughout the rest of the year that really affect and focus on their health within the school as well as in the community. Because again, they see so many things that maybe we don't see as adults, yet they are the main people that can actually make stuff happen. And again, if, they, if you listen, they will speak. And I have so much praise for this group of staff, students here, the things that they have going on. And Friday Night Live is happy to be part of this, this, part of this whole effort. Collaboration. Collaboration, absolutely. And we hope for great things for, uh, for many years to come with this group of Awesome people. Excellent. Thank you so much, Francis. We have uh, Judy and her team here so is with us with uh, Workforce Development. Hey, but this, this is what made the dream start. This is what made the dream start. This is the whip Thank you. Thank you. This is what you got to give Judy the credit. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm just getting over for being sick. So I brought Donna uh, Scudder. She's new to our department, but she's got so much enthusiasm and so much excitement about helping people, and she's just been awesome. So yes, I am part of America's Job Center. We um, <coughs> have three operations. Uh, basically, we have one up in Victorville, and we have one in San Bernardino. But our focus is, first and foremost, is helping you get a job. But if you're missing something along the way, let's say you're, uh, let's say you work for a, a guy that decided never to upgrade his computer system, so you're still doing dinosaur work from 2003, and you say to me, Judy, can you can you help me out with that? Sure, we're going to get you into school. We're going to get you upgraded to a 2010-2013 uh, computer program. We also, uh, aside from the training, and we have tons of training, it's like you know, going into Toys R Us and asking them what kind of toys do you have. <laughs> but we just want to make sure that, um, that the career that you're going to go into is in a labor uh, demand field. So we also uh, give you insights on that as well. 
Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I don't, don't let her, don't let her have no. the mic. <laughs> now I'm losing my voice again. Um, but we also have a re-entry program um, that, that helps people with background issues uh, come into our facility. And how to explain that to employers and, and how to get around that aspect of, oh, God, we don't want to hire a felon. Right. But, you know, and we have the detectives from, I think it's about 10. Oh, yeah. And Donna's been a part of that yeah. as well. Um, no, and then our workshops are awesome, first. too. Yeah. Montana's first. Yeah. yeah, see, we're going to go back and forth yeah. like yeah. Laurel and Hardy yeah. here. <laughs> so, um, all right, Donna, I'll let you introduce <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. No. It's okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we really want to talk about this. Yeah. 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 yeah, Sabrina has been so awesome. Now, stand up, Sabrina. Stand up, Miss Sabrina. Stand up, Sabrina. Sabrina is one of our students here at uh, ONH, who is going to be graduating soon. Woo! She is so awesome. You know, when Sabrina came, she didn't really know how to do, you know, I mean, coming in new, you, you don't know the system. Right. She learned like that. I mean, picked it up. Now she actually works for the EDD, which is the yeah. State Department. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Wow. Wow. She was so good. The state said, hmm, can we steal Sabrina from you? How awesome is that? I, I, I yeah, awesome. they love her. Awesome. They love her. Yeah. So, Sabrina, would you like to um, yes. share? Yes. What, uh, yes, she yes, she was. Yes, she was. She told me. Yeah. Are oh, you bringing your future pink purse, too? No. Okay. Yeah. Good. Come on, please. No, breathe, breathe. Hi, I'm Sabrina. So, my experience with Operation Europe has been a life changing and amazing journey. They helped me to achieve the goal of acquiring my high school diploma and also finding a great job. MSA has been a wonderful opportunity working for EDD and the county. I couldn't have asked for a better place to work my first job ever. I have gained valuable and experience, valuable knowledge and experience. The staff is helpful, patient, and kind. They're like my extended family. I also have many positive role models here. I look forward to actually applying for a job with EDD department and show them what I have learned. Working for both the county and state has been incredible. I learned both systems and feel prepared to go out into the real world. I would like to thank you, Operation U Hope, for giving me the awesome opportunity to intern with the county and state, which has taught me valuable and transferable skills. Oh, wow. yeah. oh. Has she asked you for a letter of rec yet? Yeah. Um. Well, I'm sure she's but going to get she's comfortable. moving to San Francisco area. And I, I said, know. you got to talk try to, to these people. Because they'll probably hire you up there if you got her oh, yeah. to say yeah. how great you are. You hear what they said? So she does want one. She says she's shy. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you. Yeah, she's lovely. We she is. Good job. Yeah. And I'll start with several different employers. We have recruitments, they, they just may show up one day, sometimes they are scheduled. So we did leave some of these here, so for some of your students that are at age of, of getting a job, they can come in and they, we will prepare them with all the employment services they need. In our resource room, you're able to do anything for your appointment, whether it's copying, using the computer, um, job completion application or application completions because you know they, they are pretty tricky you know application could take about an hour to two hours for some people that are really not prepared or really don't have the skills the computer skills to actually handle doing an application so along with our workshops which is our resume writing and our interview if you don't write a good resume how are you going to get a job how are you going to get an interview first of all and there is this internet system where if you don't have keywords in your resume guess where it's going to go poof it's gone right so we help with all the keywords and then we go we have the interview so it teaches you soft skills i think one of you guys were talking about the soft skills of actually you know not going to an interview smelling badly not wearing the right clothes i mean a lot of kids don't understand what they're supposed to do in order to pass an interview so we help prepare them for every step of that process of, of gaining employment. So along with the um, re-entry also, it's, it's just that transition 
from being unemployed to being employable. And that's what we do at the American Jobs Center. Um, in addition to that, the um, employers <coughs> use our facility to recruit. Um, we had Smart and Final, um, what about? A couple, a couple weeks. Yeah. And uh, they needed 50 positions filled. So we called all our customers, and guess what? All 50, all 50 positions were filled by our customers. So, and so that's when we brought some recruitment uh, information here for you. And um, so, yeah, come and see us and make sure that your, your business attire is casual. I mean, a casual business attire because you never know. We, she had an incident where an employer was in our resource room looking for somebody. Right. Yeah. And she pointed him out. She goes, he, he's got that background. Right. Right. And uh, he was hired there on the spot. Right there and on the spot. So, it, you know, we, we do have um, some exceptional success stories <laughs> where we're at. So, um, Come on down and see us. We look forward to, to working with you and helping you get that job and move you toward the career goal that you desire. Great. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> I was speaking the same way because Desmond always tells us the same thing. Make sure they come to Job Club ready to dress for success. And so when you come to uh, yours as well, make sure they come dressed for success. And they're social. And, and, and oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's serious. No, you're right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, those are That's little things. Yeah, those are little things that people just forget, and yeah. then all of a sudden, you now this employer can't even hire them on the spot. Right. Especially when we have recruitments that are in our office and they're ready and they're they're ready to hire somebody. Right. So if you're not prepared, then you're really not giving them a good outlook on what you're going to be like if you're not prepared all the time. Exactly. Yeah. See, that's why we stress all the time. What do we say? Bring your what, guys? A -game. Bring your A game. With everything, we have a couple more community partners out here. Definitely want to acknowledge uh, Mr. Lester Duncan from uh, Children's Network, who is the uh, child abuse prevention specialist. Glad to have him. Frank from uh, Indian Health. Uh, so good to have you. Uh, and also Les from Indian Health. You guys want to share something with you going? And, and uh, come on, Les and come on, Frank. Come on, we'd love to have you. Hi, I'm Frank from Riverside, San Bernardino County, Indian Health Incorporated. And uh, first I got to start with, I met Russ five years ago. And I was at a community meeting, and I used to support a goatee at the time. And so I sat down, ready for the presentation, and uh, this lady came up and said, okay, we're ready for you to go on, talk about your program. And I'm like, I don't know anything about this. <laughs> and so then Russ walks in about five minutes later, and you know, we, obviously, so handsome, we, we get confused for each other. <laughs> Um, but after he talked about uh, the program, I was blown away and I was like, oh wow, we, we have to go there. So ever since that day five years ago, I've tried to partner with Russ wherever he's at, I'll follow him like a, like a groupie. And so uh, I'm working with young parents and we have a, a young parent program, pregnant parenting, fathers included, uh, 12 to 25. Um, working with young parents, I've had the opportunity in, in the past to uh, uh, meet with them in the community and uh, different schools, community centers, and I've even had a, a teacher say, you know what, this guy's not going to make it here, he's on the verge of getting expelled. So I picked him up one day, took him to a New Hope site, and uh, that was Friday, by Tuesday he was registered, and then he graduated about a year and a half later and did a couple other things and he's going. So, firm believer, I'm happy to be coming back, Les is going to be doing programming here, and uh, we're, we're really excited about this and, and just looking forward to, to more stuff, more uh, more graduates, more participants, maybe more schools. I don't know. Not yes. yeah. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. See, Russ, I'm not the only one who has it. I tell this story all the time. I was with another agency, which shall remain nameless, and I hounded Russ for about three years till he found some budget and hired me. So I'm not the only one, huh? Awesome, awesome. I mean, that's from Ch uh, Children's Network. My name is Les Bird, uh, representing the county, the county of San Bernardino Children's Network. Uh, Marty kind of threw me on the spot, but oh, it's hot. <laughs> I, I wanted to say congratulations though to Operation New Hope on your grand reopening. Um, you guys have been a phenomenal example of uh, partnership in our community. And I just posted on, on Facebook this wide array of partners 
um, that you guys have here. Um, at Children's Network, that's our focus. Our focus is on partnership and identifying gaps in services for children and youth throughout our county um, to ensure the health, the wholeness, and the well-being of all youth. Um, and Operation You Hope has been a perfect example of that. Um, I've had the opportunity to work with Marty very closely on the Inland Empire Father Involved in Coalition, um, looking at another example of um, an element that's really missing out of the lives of our children and youth. Um, and I'm so grateful for your leadership um, in the community in so many different ways. He's very humble um, about the ways that he impacts the community, but he's really made um, a phenomenal difference in the lives of children, families, um, faith-based communities. So I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to all of the partners here as well that we've worked with. Um, I greatly appreciate the work that you do. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Les always makes me look good on that uh, panel, so he's got a mind like I can't even think, so he always slides me things I'm supposed to tell the group and keeps me uh, posted with that as well. I uh, want to also acknowledge John, who does the Daddy uh, Boot Camp from a Pomona Hospital. Um, he's definitely does a lot with fathers. Thanks, Marty. Yeah, I work with new and expecting fathers. Best time to reach a dad is when you have a brand new baby. Okay. We do it the second Saturday of the month over at Pomona Valley Hospital. I'm also involved with the Inland Empire Father Involvement Coalition, and we're looking to expand out, starting in the west end of the county, hopefully work with other hospitals and agencies, and then expand it out. So that's a little bit what I do. We do it. It's a three-hour program. It goes from nine to noon every month over there. Thanks so much, so much. Okay, and we just want to also acknowledge all the other... Uh, community partners that we have, there's so many, and, and, and if I start calling, I'm going to forget someone, and I'll be in, in hot water, but from those from Children and Family Services and DBH that are all here, and everyone, we're so glad to say, I know we have to, Regina, come up from IRC, just just say something for us, please, about what you do in your services. We have, if you haven't been with Inland Regional Center, they are phenomenal, another underutilized service. Thank you, Marty. Um, we provide case management services to individuals with developmental disabilities, all ages, um, for both Riverside and San Bernardino County. Right now, we currently have close to 30,000 individuals that we're serving um, in both areas. And I have recently became involved with Marty and uh, his co Inland Empire Fathers collaborative meetings, very helpful. I'm finding out that there's a lot of our consumers who uh, need a lot of the similar services. And just here on the panel, thank you all for sharing because that helps me as a family support specialist to bring back to the table and reach out to our That's what this consumers. was about. Thank you. We worked. Awesome. Thank you so much. Just a glimpse, and probably just about half, if that, of the community partners that we have. We don't have our business partners and hire the people. <laughs> right, right. So we just wanted to share with you, whenever you refer someone to Operation New Hope, this is all the services, plus some, that they are exposed to. Because we want them to, when they leave and graduate from Operation New Hope, that they can be productive citizens in society, that they can stand proud and tall, like Asia said, that I got my diploma from Operation New Hope from John Muir Charter Schools, and guess what, I can be as competitive as anyone else, and I love what my education has done and the experience that I have received from Operation New Hope. So our philosophy, changing lives one step at a time, because if we don't, who will? Amen. All right, all right, I know that's right, amen. <laughs> Where's 